Do not be embarrassed if you have not heard of using virtual reality in the language classroom. There is no shame that you may not have heard of this or tried this out before. That being said, Virtual reality is not just a new website. VR is an entirely new way that our students are consuming media, and it is changing the game for learning languages. So sit back, I'm gonna let you know why virtual reality is the language teacher's best kept secret. As proficiency-based student-centered learning language teachers, our goal is to provide students with as many authentic contexts for the language as we can. In virtual reality, where students can put on a headset, put on goggles, if you will, and automatically be transported into a new place, we can bring authentic contexts to them. We don't have to pretend that we're in a doctor's office or that we're cooking or that we're navigating a new city. We can put students, put them virtually, in a space where they physically feel as if they are in a context where they have to use the language. VR is replacing language textbooks. We no longer need simulated conversations and activities given to us in chapters when we can take students to real places and have them authentically prompted to use particular language constructions that we're targeting. Where language teachers who are using VR are helping their students cultivate and apply their language skills to be used in real contexts. If your students can't get over the fact that they need to learn a second language when in their communities everyone speaks English, or so they think, transporting them to places where the target language is natively spoken can increase their buy-in. Students who use VR and world language classes enjoy increased amount of quality input that is comprehensible, especially because that input is linked to what they see in their surroundings. Cortar el tomate as you're physically, or feel like you are, physically cutting a tomato with a knife and a cutting board and tomato that is in this kitchen that you find yourself in. That's how we learned our first language, was being immersed in the language and using objects and seeing things in our world and then hearing language spoken that corresponds to it. Now where I'm incredibly passionate is the intersection of virtual reality and student-centered methods like PBL. Through a well-designed PBL project or intriguing real-world problem, the students can explore potential solutions and work together on potential solutions to that problem and have a public-facing product in VR. This combination of VR and project-based learning is gonna be the next generation of communicative language learning, right? Teaching students to learn the language by using the language. So think about the last time you read a manual or you heard about someone else doing something versus you actually doing the thing yourself in real time, in real life. I took driver's ed. In theory, I learned about the different pieces of a car engine or whatever is under the hood of a car. See, I still don't know. Uh, but I guarantee you, once my car breaks down for the first time and I have to learn that stuff because I'm looking up YouTube videos and trying to manipulate the pieces of the car on the side of the highway by myself in real time, in real life, I guarantee you I will learn more. Is that just me? And so what's amazing is that we can give these authentic, immersive experiences with this new technology. So VR provides far stronger memories that link language with actual things in the world than Skype or digital images that we download from Teachers Pay Teachers. A two-dimensional surface of a laptop screen or an iPad is nothing compared to actually being immersed as if you were really there in a place. Virtual reality is here to stay. A lot of your students are already using it to play video games, so why not, just like laptops, why don't more of us start to leverage it in our classrooms to create strong memories, authentic contexts, and real-world places and situations for our students to use the language. Also, if you're interested in what equipment you would need to get started with this exciting technology, I've got another video up on that. So go ahead and click the link that you see on your screen.